Are you open to scientific evidence that could show that it had to be formed from a catastrophic event called the flood? Oh, yeah. I could, yeah, I could. Maybe, yeah. If you want to. Can I share uh, it with yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Scientific fact number one, the Colorado River starts 3,000 feet above sea level. We're 7,000 feet above sea level. There's no way for a river that starts 3,000 feet above sea level to go uphill and carve out a canyon that's 7,000 feet above sea level. Scientific fact number two, on top of where we're standing, there used to be another mile of dirt that has been removed for tens of thousands of square miles. Okay. The Grand Canyon is missing 900 cubic miles of dirt. Mm -hmm. These layers represent 130,000 cubic miles of dirt. Okay. A huge difference. Yeah. Fact number three, all those layers were laid down very quickly. There's no erosion marks in between the layers, which is what you'd get if they were laid down slowly over millions of years. And there's no growth of root structures into the layers, which means they didn't even have time to grow roots or trees. There's no way those were laid down over millions of years. Okay. All those layers were laid down very quickly. When a river carves out a canyon, it forms a delta at the end and it deposits all the sediment. Right. You can't find the sediment at the, in the delta. There's actually a very small delta. Whatever washed this out, came through with so much force and so much water, it even washed the delta away. This tells us it couldn't have been the Colorado River for a long period of time. It had to be very, very quickly. So if all these layers were laid down at the same time, and there's a mile of strata that's missing from this whole area, and the Colorado River starts at 3,000 feet above sea level, what would it have taken to remove all that sediment? Not just this, but all of that sediment. All the ice age. Uh, I have no idea. Humans destroyed everything. Prehistoric monsters. And then the second ice age. And Maybe some miracle. The prehistoric, uh, what are they? What do you call them? <laughs> Dinosaurs. What do you think? Water. It had to be water. Well, it would make sense of like a huge giant flood. John, what do you think? But You're the one down What happened to all the water after the flood? Well, it's still here. 70% of the earth is actually covered by water. Yeah. And so it's actually still out there. The ocean sank down and the water that was covering the continents ran off into the low spots, causing all the erosion that we see today. Do you think that makes sense? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it could. Yeah, it does. I mean, maybe. The flood covered all the high hills, that it wasn't just in one area, that it actually was worldwide. And when you look at the world today, it's 70% covered with water. with water. Does that help change your mind? Could possibly. I think it sounds logical. That, that does yeah. sound logical? Yeah. You think that could have happened? <laughs> well, it could happen. Well, I'm not like extremely re religious, but yeah, it could be. Why not? That makes sense. Yeah. Would that make sense of a mile of dirt being Easy. gone from right now? Yeah, I think so.